Happy Monday, everybody. So, today's video is to show you why I don't normally crochet garments, but I knit them. And it is all in the components. Um, when I knit sleeves, they end up being exact gauge, exactly the same. Uh, same with the front and back of a sweater. If I'm making a pieced sweater or pullover, cardigan, whatever it may be, my pieces in knitting always turn out identical. Not so much in crochet. The nice thing about this, though, is I can block it to be the same size as the one here on the bottom. This was the first one I made. And as you can see, when you bring the edges, the top edges up, this one, this one right here with the little button marker, stitch marker, that Jane of Scraptastic Yarn Podcast made for me. Um, it is... Oh, it's still not quite up there, but it is shy. See down here? It's This is a good quarter inch shy of being the same width as the first one. So, that's easy to fix. Uh, this yarn is very stretchy. It is an acrylic, but I can get it to block out to measure the exact same measurements as this one. This one I'm going to block aggressively because you can see down here it's shy this way and it's got the exact same amount of stitches that the bottom one does. It has 75 chainless foundation double crochets. So I don't know why this happens to me, but it does. Anyhow, I'm going to block this in aggressively, and I'm not going to block this one as aggressively. The other thing I noticed is this one here for the edging is nice and smooth, where this one, look at that. What is this? I, and I crocheted the same exact way. So this video goes to show you two things. One, I'm totally transparent in my crafting. I will admit when I'm having issues. I will admit when I have a craft fail. I will admit that I'm human and that I make mistakes. And thank God for that because I don't want to be perfect. And I want to share that I'm not perfect with people. Secondly is that when you do have a craft fail or a craft foible or whatever you want to call it, most of the time it can be remedied fixed, you will find a solution for it. If you're running into problems, feel free to contact me and I'm happy to help you. I don't charge for that. I do it simply for the love of crafting and the arts and I'm happy to do it because I usually end up learning something along the way too and I can add that to my repertoire and even if it's sharing an old tip or technique, that's cool, too, because now you know it, and it perpetuates the crafting community. So, that's what I wanted to say about that, and I will uh, supply my email address in the comment, or in the, not the comments, I will supply my email address in the description box of this video. Anyway, I'm off to go um, soak these for about 10 minutes. And then I will block them out. I will also create a video showing you how I block them out. And I'll put that up today as well. So I hope everybody's having a great, happy Monday. And that you have a blessed week. And remember to be kind and loving to yourself and to others. Have a good one. Bye-bye.